Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a really easy way that you can cleanly and simply uninstall apps from your Mac. We got a lot of emails from people asking how can they do this other than going to the applications folder and dragging it to the trash. Because after all, when you do that, you're not necessarily cleaning out all the files. There are a lot of other little hidden library and preference files that aren't located in that folder. So here's a really easy way that you can do it. And even better, it's free. There is a simple app out there appropriately named App Cleaner. It's a free download. You can get it from going to this website, freemacsoft.net slash app cleaner. There's two versions of the app. If you look down here at the very bottom, one for older operating systems if you're running uh, OS X 10.4, also known as Tiger, or for all of you who are more current, we have a version here for everything from OS X 10.6 to 10.9, also known as Snow Leopard to Mavericks. So once you've downloaded it, of course it'll be in your downloads folder, this is what the app looks like. And there's a couple different ways you can use it. You can take an app from your applications folder and drop it right here. And what it's going to do is search for all those other little hidden files and give you a way to delete it. Or you can go to the applications icon right up here at the top. And you'll see all the different little apps that you have in your computer. If you find one that you don't want, just check the little box next to it. Hit search. And then on the next screen, you'll be able to delete it. Now, the other thing you can do is you can delete old widgets. There are not many people who use widgets anymore. There's really only one that I actually recommend. It's called Radar in Motion, if you haven't used that one, which is a nice one. But there's a lot of widgets that come with a computer that, frankly, most people never use. For example, um, Tile Game. Very few people use that. If you're trying to clear out some space, these really don't take up a lot of space. It's not going to do much. But if you want, you can check it and go through the same process. You click search, it finds any other little hidden files, and now just simply click delete. Now, the other thing you can do is click here where it says others. Now these are other little plugins that are part of your computer, which I really wouldn't recommend for most people messing with, unless you know what you're doing. But if you're looking for a way to easily uninstall preference panes, this is one way that you can do it. It's a lot easier than having to sort and go through to the, uh, the place where they actually live in the computer. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. Hopefully that helps out a bunch of you. If you have just discovered us for the very first time on YouTube, I hope you will check out our website. We are a free public service. We teach you how to better use your Mac, PC, iPhone, or iPad right from the comfort of your own home. This is David A. Cox. You all have a wonderful day. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.